Hey guys, Matteo here and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to finally talk about my run and gun setup, my run and gun rig for the Blackmagic Pocket 4K cinema camera. Keep in mind guys, this setup can also be used with the Pocket 6K, but let's just jump into it. A lot of people ask me, what if I want to keep my camera with a very simple setup? I don't want to, you know, get noticed around places and stuff like that. And uh, of course, the first video that I posted about my Blackmagic Pocket rig, uh, it's about a year ago, you know, you saw a big camera, a big cinema camera with Veman batteries and the map box and all that kind of stuff. And I did that because when I can, I rig it up like that because I need power, I need V-mount, I need uh, my matte box with all my filters, but there are cases where I can't have that set up or I don't want it. For example, when I go to Italy or when I go to visiting city and I want to capture some stock footage, uh, of course I can't bring around such a setup. That's simply because it's too heavy to go around for that entire day. This is a perfect setup for that kind of stuff, for that kind of like travel film. If you don't want to get a uh, cough or you don't want to get seen or noticed and you're shooting maybe a documentary, this is a way better setup for that kind of stuff. In today's video, I'm going to talk about two run and gun setup actually. One is this one, and then I'm going to show you another setup that sometimes I use when I'm really like, I came into the mountains or where I can't even have a, an external monitor to, to go with the cameras. One of the main questions that people ask me online is, how do you get your footage so stable when you shoot handheld? How can you live with the fact that your sensor is not stabilized? And my answer to that is that I'm a camera operator. People pay me to just capture great and stable footage. That's just my work. And if you try to use an Alexa, a RED, none of those camera has that IBIS thing that is super common now. You guys should learn how to operate a proper cinema camera with no IBIS. I know that people that are starting out there, they think it's super important and it's one of the main things that they look into the camera. And that's why Black Magic Pocket gets so many bad reviews from like vloggers and that kind of stuff because it doesn't have autofocus, which none of the cinema camera have and it doesn't have image stabilization inside the sensor which all the cinema camera don't have how i keep my footage that stable is i make the camera heavier because this is one of the most important thing if your camera is super light no cage nothing it's going to be very likely your footage is going to be shaky and not because you're not a good operator but because the camera is too light when you put weight on it the gravity is like pushing the camera down and then at that point you're just pulling the camera up and that's gonna allow you to counterbalance that, that gravity force and, and, and stay pretty uh, smooth. So let's see how it feels in the hands. I can use the camera like this. I feel it's going down. I feel that, that, that gravity that's bringing the camera down. And this is great because now I, I can be very stable. I can move the camera from left to right, no problems. It's definitely better than my main rig, that's for sure. Uh, it gives you a little bit of weight. I think mainly is the cage, the 18 cage is a, it's a bit heavy, which I really like. So what I have on here, uh, extremely simple. I have a 18 cage for the Pocket 4K. I have a Metabon Speed Booster for Canon FD with my 24mm 2.8, which is my go-to lens when I go handheld and I go run and gun. And then I have a black promise from Tiffin, a quarter, and then I have a, a variable ND from Tiffin. Moving on, we have a SSD with the SSD holder by 18 going to the camera. Right here, we have our external monitor, small HD focus with the Sony battery in here. Plug into the camera as well. I have this clamp right here from 18 uh, to secure the cable so they don't go anywhere. And then as a power solution, I found this amazing uh, plate that I use all the time and it's the Power Junkie by Blind Spot. So super simple actually, you just plug this cable in and this goes with a dummy battery inside the camera, an LP6 dummy battery. Then you get your Sony batteries, plug it in here, slide it on, boom, and you're ready to go. And this battery lasts pretty much two hours, two hour and a half. It really depends if you're shooting 24P, 60P, RAW or ProRes. And of course I have the eight scene handle as well. This is pretty much it, this is my setup. Again, this is not ultra light. This for some people could be heavy, I'm really a big fan of shooting handheld without any sort of stabilization and then just, you know, move the camera a little bit as much as I like. Um, I love the top handle. That's one of the things that I use the most. But let's say that this solution is still a little bit big for you and you want it to make it even smaller. So the very first thing you can do is give up your monitor. And I know this is not an ideal solution, especially if you're shooting a lot of low angle. Extreme situation, yes, you can do that. So first thing, we can get rid of this 
uh, small HD monitor. Um, I always use it, but for example, when I was hiking in the mountains, I didn't bring it with me because it was too much. Second thing, what can you do? You can either use an SD card and shoot, I think, 12 by one or ProRes 1080 or even 4K up to 24P, or maybe you have a CFS card. So what you can do, you can get rid of the Samsung T5 as well and the older. So right now you have two options. You either gonna keep your battery plate, which I think is totally fine, or get rid of the power junkie and battery plate. You can get rid of the top handle as well and just keep it very, very low profile. This is pretty bare bone. It only has a cage on it. That's your other solution. Again, you're not gonna have any external monitor. You're not gonna have your two and a half hour batteries, but if you get like 10, 15, 20 LP6, you can just use the internal battery and let's just live with that. These actually have a pretty good grip. I can just, you know, do my stuff, check the monitor here. If I do a low angle, I can just uh, go down and frame it and then hold the camera there. It's another solution. A lot of people comment uh, on that rig video that I shot last year saying, oh my God, you spent so much money on that rig. When the reality is I didn't spend that much money. If you take out those $800 that I spent for filters, and that by the way, I can use with an Alexa, with a Red, those are forever because like that's the cinema standard. Everybody's gonna have a four by 5.65 map box on any professional shoot you go on. At that point, you're spending money on the cage, which you can either go expensive on the 8 scene or you can even get a small rig, which is way cheaper. This battery plate, I think is 50 bucks. Uh, these battery are not that expensive. Uh, the map box that I have from Tilt is 570 bucks. Um, you can get those two V mount with a charger from DNO Lighting. By the way, I have a 15% off if you use my code. And those are like $300 for two V mount and a charger, which you can do the entire day. At the end of the day, guys, we're talking about a $1,300 camera that comes with DaVinci Resolve for free and it should 4K. DCI, 60p, 12b raw, any kind of compression, any kind of press internal on a CFast SD or an external SSD. What I really like about the Blackmagic Pocket is, yes, it's an extremely powerful cinema camera that can be rigged out as a real big cinema camera, but it can also be used just like this. You can put it in your car, you can put it all over. I don't know if you ever tried to bring an Alexa Classic inside a car. It's a nightmare. And then I'm gonna be able to shoot with an incredible quality. Again, this is my ultra portable setup. My 99% go-to solution when I run and gun is the previous setup. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this video is gonna help you out uh, picking up a run and gun solution for your Blackmagic Pocket 4K. And I'll see you in the next one.